If you've been wondering whether you should be using Tripwell or Hyros as a third-party attribution software for your e-commerce brand, then this is the right video for you. I've now been using both across different Khan accounts for the last couple of months, and I want to share in this video which one I believe is best and why. If you're new to the channel, you don't yet know who I am. My name is Justin, and I'm a founder at PitAdvertising.com, an online marketing growth firm specializing in elevating thriving brands by simplifying e-commerce growth. We've probably spent over $9.6 million on ads in the last year and are on track to spend about 10 or so million dollars in ads this year. A Again, and with this said, let's get started. Let me run you through Hyros. This is the first time I ever speak about it on the channel because quite frankly, a lot of our clients are using other third-party attribution softwares, but I did want to show you Hyros because I, one, have been seeing a lot of comments about it. Number two, I think it's not talked about enough on YouTube, especially within the e-commerce space. So now I'll run you through the app in itself. So like Tripwall, because you could download it and have the Chrome extension show up with an ads manager directly on Facebook. I just haven't because of the permissions that I have for this client account specifically. So one of the first bases that I'll compare both on is just the overall look and ease of navigation. To me, like Tripwall is a clear winner because look, if I go on Tripwall and I want to see what are my ads results, what am I going to do? I'm going to go on pixel ads, look at my ad results in a way where the columns are presenting me the information in a very similar way to the ads manager. So this seems native to me. If I'm on high rows, what I have to do is choose a report type. So last click, first click, etc. Or I can just go to my dashboard, go to let's say meta ads right here and click open detailed report. By default, it's going to present it to me under the last click report model. And when it opens up, look at this. I don't know about you, but this seems confusing a little bit. That's the first thing essentially that I noticed when I was on high rows. I'm like, huh, it's a little confusing with the way they're laying this out. But again, let me expand on it. So if I open Meta, I open as an example, uh, this campaign. Now you can see that this report is from this specific period. So the 2nd to the 8th of February. Now I'm going to see there's like five ads running. All right, so now you can see the total revenue by each of these ads. Now, don't take into account profit. The client said that these numbers are uh, completely off. They haven't really set up their, their profit right there. But if I go all the way to the right, some of the stuff that you have is this, right? Cost per unique customer versus cost per unique sell. So CPA versus CAC, which they show you right here. So what you can see as an example, this client's KPI is to get a CAC below 150 bucks. So we know one of our ads right now is doing below this $150 or Singaporean dollars as a KPI. Now the second one here is at 239. Now I want to say that this client doesn't have the full analytics plan of Hyros. They're on their kind of most basic plan. So I do want to be fair in my comparison, because if you go back to my reporting right here, I would have a lot more more attribution models and features to show you if I had this feature, I unfortunately don't have it for this account. But one thing you'll get to notice is that mostly all the reporting models used on Hyros are click based. So it doesn't really factor in view through attribution. Triple L does. I mean, what Triple L does quite simply is it's also click based. It's also last click based, but they just add to it the view through attributions they would get from Facebook. So you could say whether or not, I mean, it depends if you believe in view through attribution, but if you do, then Triple L is going to be better for that. Now, one big point I will be giving Hyros is the fact that it does send its own data back to Facebook, right? You can see right here, we have the Hyros conversions pixel set up for that client. You can see here that through the conversion API, it sends server events straight back to Facebook. So this, I believe, in my opinion, is the biggest selling point for Hyros is the fact that they send the events back. So Triple L doesn't, right? Triple L shows you attribution. It shows you how your data should be looking like, but Facebook's never really going to learn from it, nor would any other app platform for that matter that you would sync through Triple L, whereas Hyros app platform that you sync through it, they receive the data. So that in itself, I think is the only reason I personally would pick Hyros over Triple Well if I decided essentially that getting the data back was the most important part. For ease of use and just overall presentation of the data, I wholeheartedly prefer Triple Well. I think Triple Well is much easier to navigate. It's much easier to just visually see the data and see at a glance what works, what doesn't. Now, another basis that I'll give to Hyros is the fact that it adds itself to the ads manager. I don't have have it activated right now, but let me show you how it would look like. So when you have Hyros, you don't need to go to Hyros, right? You could see through the Chrome extension, you'd be able to see essentially all of your Hyros columns natively in Ads Manager. So that way everything is done within Ads Manager. You don't have to leave the platform and it's all kind of native to Facebook. Triple, you don't do that, right? But on the flip side, Triple allows you to turn on and off specific campaign ads and ad sets on platform and they allow you to change the budget on there. So this gives you these features here. If you went on Hyros, Hyros shows you more of a report. So it's not like I can actually turn on and off ads from Harris in itself. But again, 
it integrates on the ads manager. So that's why it's like both of them are somewhat similar in what they give you. Now, one thing I'll give Hyros once again, and I want to be very fair and impartial in that comparison. I'm sold to Tripwall. I've used Tripwall across all of my accounts, but Hyros have been pleasantly surprised by now using it for a few weeks. So one thing that I like about Hyros is also how easy the make the link between your ad sales to how it translates to which customers bought and finally how it translates to which products were sold and for you to see these reports as well as reports of any returns occurring, right? Because if you're on Tripwall as an example, if I click on any of these purchases, well, the purchases that would pop up are all orders on my store that came click through. Same thing as Hyros. Once again, I wouldn't see view through attribution from here. If I click on one of these orders as an example, it would now just kind of show me the history of that lead and then like what they bought and also like where they came from, what ad they saw and if they saw an ad on another channel. Hyros shows me the same thing, but I would also argue it goes one step further by showing you a product breakdown. So you can easily click on this right here. I could expand the category as an example and then it would show me like, all right, from Facebook in general, here's all the different products that you sold essentially in the revenue split across these products. ROAS also per product, right? So how much kind of spend was put towards each of these different products that again, is not shown through necessarily triple wall. You don't really see that from your ads on their pixel, right? You don't see the same stats. So I like the fact that it does not only give you the lead breakdown. So I could show you in a second how that's going to look like, but very similar to again, triple wall here that shows you kind of the people that bought, but it also gives you a product breakdown and a ROAS breakdown and profitability breakdown per product or collection sold through high rows. Now, one other feature to compare them on is the on the go looking at ads, right? If you don't have your computer, how do you you look at your stuff triple well in my opinion wins that point iris has like an ipad app but they don't really have an app for you to track your stuff through mobile triple well does and the last point i'll give here is just the overall design for e-commerce i've also used hyros in the past and i haven't made a video about it because quite frankly i speak mostly about e-commerce marketing on this channel but hyros is very good in my opinion for anything that is non-e-commerce i think it's better for lead generation for call funnels for appointment funnels for lead magnets and like any of that sort. Triple Wall definitely isn't there. I mean, in fact, Triple Wall, they brand themselves as the e-commerce OS. So Triple Wall's e-commerce focus. If I was an e-commerce brand, I'd wholeheartedly pick Triple Wall because of its ease of use, the app, and the fact that it has many more features all in one for e-commerce. It's just built for e-commerce. Hyros, I see it like the only reason I would see an e-commerce brand owner using it is if the only thing I care about is data. If I'm a very data-driven person, I'd probably pick Hyros because it sends the data back to the ads platform and integrates natively within the app platform and it's report data wise, right? With the product breakdowns that I showed you earlier, customer breakdown is pretty much the exact same as triple wall, but data wise, I think Hyros is better. So if all I care about is data, I'd get Hyros, right? If all I care is getting my ads to have more accurate data, let me get Hyros. If I care about seeing my brand as a whole, seeing how each channel kind of interact with each other, about seeing my data on the go, about having retention, operational features, and removing kind of channel overlaps with total impact modeling, post-purchase surveys, like I'm getting triple wall wholeheartedly. So that's why I'm saying for 90% of e-commerce brand owners, I'd pick triple wall for the ones that only really care about accuracy of data. I'd get Harris. I'm not saying a triple isn't accurate. I'm just saying it doesn't send the data back to Facebook and it doesn't show as much into product breakdown as Harris does from an advertising standpoint. And that's it. I'm going to leave links in the description down below to both solutions, both Triple Wall and Hyros, if you want to check them out for yourself. With Triple Wall, we do have a 15% code as we are partners and have been partners with them for quite a couple of years. Hyros is going to leave you essentially their link down below. But this said, if you've made it all the way through and you are an e-commerce brand owner wanting to partner with a Facebook, TikTok, and Google Ads partner, then check out the description and book in a call to speak with our team at paidadvertising.com today. And on that note, I'm going to wish you an amazing day. Check out other videos on the channel for some more useful e-commerce marketing tips. And I'll see you very soon. Bye.